Hello, and welcome to our podcast on motifs in film. Let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look and see what these things are. A motif in both literature and film is basically a repeated idea, image, or pattern that is seen throughout a text. And oftentimes, with many of these literary devices, the point of them is to help reveal the text's theme or again, the author's comment on humanity, being human, living life, something like that. And so, like any literary device, there are usually three steps. The first one is we have to start to notice or identify that pattern. So we're going to need to pay attention and start to track details. So watching them from scene to scene, where do we see things repeated? Number two, once we think we've kind of figured out that this is a pattern, we need to start to track that. And during the early stages of our practice with this, we should definitely be writing this down. So if we're noticing that something is being repeated, such as a color, maybe a musical motif, or some sort of phrase, we need to be writing those down. And then as we continue to get better at this, just like any skill, we'll be able to write less as we're watching and probably just subconsciously focus on that and understand, hey, that is a pattern. I'm going to pay attention to it. And then the third step, just like with any sort of literary device in either literature or film, we have to move to that interpretive level. This is where we need to start to propose meaning from that pattern. We have to ask ourselves, okay, so I notice that certain characters always get to be dressed in red, or certain characters continue to say a certain phrase over and over again we need to move to the interpretive level and ask ourselves, why? So what? So what that certain characters are wearing red or saying whatever? What's the point? And this is where we move to that interpretation level where we get the chance to offer our opinions, our ideas, our thoughts, and then be able to start backing those up with evidence from the text to prove that our interpretations may be valid. Again, they may not be the only and the objectively right idea, but they are valid ideas, valid interpretations of this text. So the person sitting next to us could also have a valid interpretation, albeit a different one. But we need to identify the, the patterns, track them, and then move to that interpretive level. So film offers us a great practice field for the art of finding motifs because they are so visual and that we are able to see these motifs probably a little bit easier uh, in visual images than we are in the written word. So we tend to see motifs coming in a couple different ways. Uh, one way is the idea of colors. And so here's some examples from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Most of the film is kind of in a flat color palette, a lot of dusty grays or sand colors, a lot of dark blues, grays, steel color, things like that. But every once in a while, we do get these highlights of red. So in the bottom left, you can see the Nazi flags are red. Upper right, you can see Marion's shirt has highlights of red. And then the bottom right, the vest that the little monkey is wearing is also red. Going back to our three steps, we would need to first start identifying whether they are patterns or not. Two, we would need to track them throughout the film and see if we could deduce any pattern. And then, as always, number three, move to that interpretive level and try to figure out why are the filmmakers using red in certain situations. Motifs can also come in the form of phrases or things that people say. One example comes from the movie Speed, where throughout the first half of the movie, we get a couple times where different characters continue to repeat the phrase, pop quiz in some sort of tense moment involving bombs and explosions. And so again, we'd have to be paying attention to that and go, hey, you know, the bad guy said it the first time, uh, somebody else said it again, and then, ooh, it was used as a clue to deduce who the bad guy actually was later on. So we need to identify, track, and then start to propose meaning. But again, the point is, motifs don't always have to be visual. In this case, motifs are auditory. Another idea is a visual motif. An example that we see uh, is from the movie Jaws. Basically throughout most of the movie we don't get to see the shark. 
We know that some sort of shark has been attacking and eating people, has been causing havoc all over this coast, but we don't get to see it. Now we know from after the fact that that was mostly because the shark didn't work. Steven Spielberg has told us this, that the shark that they called Bruce would not work. Mechanical failure. Therefore, they had to make it seem like the shark was there, but we could never see it. Eventually, there are a couple scenes where we do get to see it. But the way that the filmmakers progressed the plot was through this motif of these barrels. And basically, what they were trying to do as these shark hunters was to begin shooting these air-filled barrels into the body of the shark in the hopes of forcing that shark to surface and that he had so much air that he could not submerge and they could you know, bring him to the surface and then eventually kill him. In the movie, it serves as a great plot-progressing motif because what we see is, as the story goes on, more and more barrels are shot into this shark's body. And so we are able to see that recurring visual motif of the first time, one barrel, then two, then three, etc. And so we don't get to see that shark because, like we said, didn't really work. But we are able to see where we are in the plot when we can count more and more barrels. So to sum up, motifs are recurring patterns that are definitely found in both movies and in written literature. And so our job is to, one, start deducing, is this a pattern that I'm seeing? Two, we need to start to track that in some way. And as we get better skilled at this, we'll be able to do it more mentally than written. And then finally, three, propose some meaning for this. And this ties in with the last bullet point here, is that when we do notice a pattern, we should be able to look at that and say, why? What is the point of this? And oftentimes, these motifs, again, help us to interpret the film and also help to reveal the theme or the message of the text. As always, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please go ahead and bring those into class. We'll get those all answered for you, and then we'll be on our way. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon.